Hi folks, good evening and God bless you. Uh, I'm going to try to explain something that um, I'm having a little difficulty myself kind of processing, but um, I'm going to try to explain it as best I can. When the Lord came to me uh, in 2019 and redeemed me uh, from where I had been going and following the world and the ways of the world, which would lead me directly to the pit of hell, uh, I realized several things about how the Antichrist plays, and it's pretty simply, um, it's pretty simply, uh, that's a little kitty that I'm sharing my space with, uh, they have a way of knowing when you're doing something. So it's pretty clear that the Antichrist is, is the opposite, anti, is the antithesis of everything Christly and uh, therefore everything good and just as uh, all flesh is the Lord's Lucifer is himself bound by the words of God and the words of Jesus Christ they are binding and heaven and earth will pass away but his words will stand so it's become abundantly clear to me that um, as somebody who's experienced and rejected geoengineering, um, aka nanobotitis, aka Morgellons, when I detoxed, um, basically uh, poisoning by Satan through the minions, our government, um, it became clear to me that uh, we can't trust anything that that has been shown to us as truth from this world. The only thing we can trust and rely on is the word of God. His word will not come back void. So, you know, the devil is bound to show us to a certain extent the truth about, uh, of course it's all mixed with lies, but is bound to show us to a certain extent what shall come to pass. And if you really want to know the truth, read your Bibles. But I'm guilty of it just as much as anybody else. Got to put down these phones and read our Bibles. Not to say that a lot of it hasn't been changed and manipulated, but the Word of God will shine through to you. So what's come to my attention is that, and I've said this on, on previous videos, that Amazon, the beast system, is connected through RF, through frequency. That is through frequency in this uh, campaign to get the poison inside your bodies, the frequency that's laid out with five evil glee, the frequency that's uh, up in the air with Skynet and with all the Amazon products. They work on frequency. And once you put that poison into your body, you become part of that system. So if you have put the poison into your body, repent. Repent now because you are running out of time. What's going to happen is um, you know, we are going to see war, rumors of war, war shall come to pass. And uh, I'm not, I don't know if it, there will be a nuclear war, but I already know that there is indeed a nuclear war going on e inside each and every one of us. This is a fight for our nucleus. There's a nucleus in each and every one of our cells. And they're trying to corrupt that. They are actively at war with that. When they say health and safety, they mean killing you and putting your soul in danger. So if folks haven't heard, <clears throat> Amazon has changed some of its terms of service. And you look if you look at paragraph 42.10, I'll put a link to it. Uh, you're going to find that uh, they have provided for terms of service in what can only be described as a zombie apocalypse. There's a reason, folks, why our predictive programming, our programs, have for years and years talked about uh, since way back in the day as, as Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, when the devil has been obsessed with reanimating flesh. You can't do what the Lord does. He's not a creator. He's trash, destined to burn. But in the meantime, in this heyday, 
when the Lord is using him to hone the souls of those that are his uh, in this rising of the beast system we're going to see this come to pass not because the devil has any real power but because it's written in the word of God I want to read to you in Zechariah Zechariah 14 12 And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand on their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold of one another on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. What the Lord has said will come to pass, and he will not repent. We are the ones who should repent for living in Babylon, for following the ways of the world, for being an ass like King Asa, and trusting in worthless physicians whose sworn oath is to gods who are not gods whose sworn oath is to idols and they are leading people into the pits of hell along with that lowly serpent who is going to burn so we've been programmed to be fascinated with this idea of reanimation of flesh but where does this idea of reanimation of flesh and, and electrifying and the dead coming back to life really come from? Well, Christ set the standard when he came and he died. And three days later, he rose from the dead unto life. But recall that the devil is the antichrist and he will rise from the dead unto death just like a virus it's dead but it still moves and and is alive quote unquote just like a virus right through frequency that which is dead will be reanimated because it is written so folks prepare prepare for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ Get your houses right, your houses. Get your hearts right with the Lord because this is all coming to pass. I will put a link to the Amazon Terms of Service, but we've already seen decades and decades of movies, predictive programming telling us what they've been trying to do, working to do, and what they're going to do. You know, and as, as for me, this house stands with the Lord. This house follows the Lord through whatever comes. So I suggest you choose your side wisely because eternity is a long time. Hellfire is surely hot. Don't be caught on the losing team. I love you, folks. God bless you.